Welcome back to Dario.io and thanks for joining me again as we configure our Ubuntu server in this video. In the previous video, we looked at uh, building up our Ubuntu desktop based operating system. But in this particular video, I'll be showing you how you can uh, download, configure and you know get your Ubuntu server working. Before we crack on, let me just show you a, a number of things. There's been a, a bit of change between the last video and now. Even though you can see this Ubuntu desktop that we did previously, it's actually been um, changed in a, a couple of ways. And the reason I want to show you what's going on here is because you might be in the same situation as me. And the situation I have is the fact that my disk storage on my laptop is actually not enough because remember we had to take 10 gig out of my laptop storage to give to the virtual machine but because we might just run out of storage by the time we start building more servers so I've decided to attach an external drive to my laptop and I'm just going to show you how I've done that configuration so that virtual box can start using the uh, virtual box so uh, the external drive all right let me show you what the size of the uh, system is this is my terminal I'll just clear the screen so everything looks clean to you and I'm gonna run a command for now ignore every command that I run I just want to show you a bit of information so this command will tell me the setup of my disk and what I want you to focus on is the first one so the first one here you can see I've only got 233 gig of uh, storage I've used 205 and I've got 26 gig left so I'm at 89 percent capacity what that means is if I build another operating system another virtual server and I give an additional 10 gig I'm only gonna go maybe a couple of uh, more virtual servers more before I run out of disk space so what I've done is I have attached this external drive you can see it says 2TB external and out of that I've actually dedicated a uh, 500 gig to time machine which I use to back up my uh, Mac laptop so the remaining 1.4 1.5-ish is actually used for this external drive as you can see I've used 37 gig yes 37 gig out of 1.4 terabyte but now I have 1.3 terabyte left so I'm at 3% capacity so this gives us enough room to do all sorts of things that we would like to do with our virtual servers alright so for me to make use of that from my virtual server what I've got to do basically is remember this page here if you go to storage and if you select this remember where we selected this previously what I would now have to do is to point to this external disk and that's where I'm gonna select my downloaded ISO file from right so what I did was uh, initially all the downloads everything was in downloads I've now moved them all to my external drive as you can see it's not here so I've selected this is this server this is desktop right so so that's basically for this desktop and then there is another thing I like you to see which is where VirtualBox normally keeps its own files right the first file we selected was the ISO we downloaded from the internet now if we go to advanced you see now I have pointed it to the volumes 2 terabyte external which I have attached to the laptop let me show you that as well so this is the mounted volume virtual box you can see here so this is my Ubuntu desktop and this is where it creates all the bunch of files so this is pretty much a very good setup so that um, we can build as much virtual machines as we like all right moving forward first thing first let's download the Ubuntu server operating system I have that opened already and I'm just gonna download the Ubuntu server run the LTS 18.04 and since I already have that downloaded already there's no point I'm just gonna cancel that it's just a now while that is downloading for you I'd like us to talk about a few things now when you hear Ubuntu there is usually a, a linkage with something called Debian so sometimes you see Debian 
Ubuntu sometimes when people say oh what distribution of Linux are you using in your company or would you like to use for this project and you would sometimes hear things like oh it's a Debian based operating system now when someone says that Ubuntu comes to mind first and the reason basically is uh, Debian is another OS on its own it's another project on its own and I've decided to go to that website just to show you um, what is Debian the, the Debian project is an association of individuals who have made common cause to create a free operating system so it's an operating system on its own it's open source some individuals who believe that software should be free operating system should be free have decided to build this project operating system itself is called Debian just like any other flavor right but if you now go to the Ubuntu website itself what what have they got to say about Debian Debian is a volunteer project that has developed and maintained a GNU Linux operating system for well over a decade so just like we already know it's another operating system but what happened is Ubuntu builds on the Debian architecture so that's the main thing so Ubuntu has decided to take this operating system and improve upon it they, they it's based on their infrastructure and you know th what they have done is they there are more important differences which is the fact that they have a distinctive user interface so the user interface that we've seen from the Ubuntu desktop is different from the Debian and the, the, the developer community for both operating systems is different the Debian operating system uh, developers is different from the uh, the Ubuntu ones but even though they're different the Ubuntu developers still work on the Debian one so they have more improved security features as you can see here so they have enterprise security updates and you know it's much more secure it has as you can see here they say with a focus on release quality so the release time is also different Ubuntu milestone releases are made every six months and they have the long-term support releases as well which we already know from our download page here uh, the LTS the long-term support so I just wanted to quickly clarify the differences between the two so sometimes you hear things like Debian Ubuntu Ubuntu is based on Debian architecture all right moving on let's get our Ubuntu server up and running I'm just gonna name it Ubuntu server it's Linux and 64 bits I can give this a little bit more juice and create everything remains the same right everything we selected from the desktop pretty much remains the same I've given it 10 gig as well and automatically it's gonna take this 10 gig from my 2 terabyte that I showed you as you can see you can see here creating fixed medium storage unit volumes from the 2 terabyte um, location that I have configured which is good awesome now we have our Ubuntu server the next thing we're going to do like we always do is to specify the ISO image we downloaded so choose the optical disk file there we go and normal start which is going to bring up another dialog box for our installation you can see the interface for this is a little different it's all terminal there's no GUI there's nothing to click on and this is what enterprise software is running on I'm just hitting enter I'm not configuring anything special just click on enter we're not using any proxy so one of our real world projects in the future in the near future is for, to have you to build a, a proxy server so you see what that means uh, sometimes later so I'll just leave that blank and hit on done mirror address that's fine just leave it use entire disk which is the 10 gig that we specified I'm just hitting enter and for this just use the down arrow on your keyboard because it's asking if you're sure you want to continue and I am sure I want to continue because it wants to format the disk that we specify the 10 gig one alright so here 
I'm just gonna specify my username, uh, web server name. I'll just say web server two. Hit enter. Done. Enter again. Okay, so here is asking if I want to install Open SSH server. Well, whether we install it now or not, we're still going to. Uh, do that on, in a separate video so it doesn't really matter whether you select it or not I'm just gonna deselect it and go to done here if you want to install any software you can just hit enter to select but um, I'm not interested in anything at this time so that uh, it goes quickly so the kernel is getting installed if you want to view the log of what's happening you can select that and be able to see everything going on in the background. Okay, so we are done. Everything looks good. And if you hit enter to reboot now, the system is just gonna restart. You can ignore the field, the ones in red. That's so completely okay. I've just hit enter to continue. Right, looks like we're done. So if I hit on enter, you can see everything is just going into a new line. And if you do on your keyboard, Control L. it's not working for this ah because we need to log in all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put my login in my case diary remember i filled that in and i'm going to put my password and there we go so now we're logged in if i do control l yeah now it works so the reason control l didn't work before was because it's expecting us to log in but now that we've logged in control l will just clear the screen for us and that's it that's your server you know all you need to do now is just run commands from the terminal so ls there's nothing here okay ls with the root and we have a number of folders and files come back as you can see pwd is a present working directory to show me where i currently am but we'll go through each of all these commands in future uh, tutorials so that's it that's your ubuntu server i'm just gonna go back out of the full menu and we have our ubuntu server running everything looks good and that's it all right just a quick information about um, debian again if you're interested to try out debian if you go to this website osboxes.org forward slash debian you'll be able to uh, read more about debian and download the specific debian uh, virtualbox video image so if you download that you can just bring that import that into uh, virtual if you're interested to just look around and see what a debian operating system looks like so ubuntu is actually based on the debian architecture and it's been improved with a, a, a more better ui all right so thanks for watching this video i hope it's been very inf informative for you and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye